Today we are covering in my long-term review series of Litokala chargers, a Litokala 500S. As before, I'm gonna cover a positive size of it and then negative size of it with conclusion. First of all, uh, why this is an upgrade comparing to Litokala Li 500 is that the size is a bit bigger, so the spacing between batteries is uh, also a bit more comfortable. Uh, you can see here that these 18650 batteries have a lot of space between them, which is amazing when you're doing uh, tests because the heating uh, is less pronounced. Also, the heating elements are moved uh, on this part here. Also, we have uh, uh, grills for heat to be able to escape the housing, which also helps uh, a lot less heat to be transferred to batteries, which is not the case with uh, Litokala Li 500, which is heating batteries insanely. The next thing, which is for some plus, for some minus, is the screen. Uh, this is the device where Litokala uh, go on with uh, touch buttons. Uh, personally, I'm not a big fan of them and I will show you why. When you start testing batteries and when you want to see something uh, on Litokala 500, you can see without pressing any button. And when you want to shuffle through the batteries, it is instantaneous and you can see how fast I, I can do that. Here, uh, the screen can go off. Yes, you can turn on the screen by long pressing uh, the button like this, and it will stay uh, on continuously, which is great. But also it will additionally heat the device, not by much, but it will. And if you don't want to risk burning your screen or something like that on quick prolonged use, you just want to keep it off by shuffling you just need to press these touch buttons and often you need, actually, you always need to look uh, to the buttons and see what are you pressing. Here, you know that this is one and immediately you can just slide and go through the numbers. Here, this is not possible to do that. So, that is, it looks better, but it is actually not a real upgrade. I would prefer something in between with physical buttons and screen like this, which somehow would be visible. Uh, actually, I would like the screen like this, which can be visible when it is off, but with better uh, matrix, uh, a, a little bit bigger and with better visibility. This is not a huge downside, but hey, it is at least it, it is looking beautiful. Regarding functionality, you get a lot like on the uh, Litokala 500 with some again downsides. Uh, the first thing which I want to show you is uh, you have options that you can charge the battery, you can use 2000 milliampers current, and this is just possible for two batteries. Uh, you can discharge again. This is the same like on the Litokala 500. You can do 500 milliampers maximal discharge current. And you have test option, which is actually saying like no mode on Litokala 500. Here you can use uh, 1000 1, milliampers uh, charging and it will discharge the battery with uh, 500 milliampere hours for testing and that test will be recorded. The great thing on 500S is that you have separate uh, discharge mode, which is not pre present on the 500 uh, model. Uh, this is great because you can just uh, discharge battery without any additional operation, which was not possible on uh, Litokala 500. Uh, but there is uh, one downside which really grinds my gear and uh, the reason why I didn't buy more of these because these were uh, the perfect thing between uh, 500 and 600 model of Litokala, but it isn't. And there is a reason why. You see, I have here tested batteries on the test function. 
there is a good thing in this negative thing. When you do the test, you have a discharge capacity milliampere hours, which is recorded. When you press again, you have the charging. You have the uh, milliampere hours, which battery accepted, but uh, you have how much actually it discharged. You have both measurement recorded, which is amazing. And that wasn't possible on Little Hala 500. But there is the problem. When uh, the testing is done, uh, the first thing which you have is the battery will be charged completely. And after that, the battery will start discharging. And that is this measurement. When discharging is done, this will be recorded and battery gonna start charging again. Uh, and you will have a measurement uh, like this charging, showing with how much the battery accepted which is great, you will say, but actually it, it is not. Because uh, when I'm testing a lot of batteries and when I see that uh, uh, the battery is discharged, but it is in process of charging and it can take a lot of time depending of battery capacity, I am unable to see how much uh, is discharge capacity recorded until the battery finished charging. It is just impossible. You press the button, it won't shuffle, it won't show. This works perfectly fine on uh, Little Kalai 600, but here it just won't work. As I mentioned here, if you, let's say, have one battery like this, you want to charge it, you can choose the charge, put it on 2000, milliampers current and it will charge it. You can uh, place two batteries and I think that uh, the slots one and four are for that maximal current. Others are not uh, able to provide that current. Overall, uh, if you look the complete picture, the price is somewhere between uh, like the model numbers. It is between Litokala 500 and Litokala 600, which I have here. I'm going to show you. This is a Litokala 600 and uh, 500S. The screens are quite a similar. I'm going to do a separate re review between these two and actually this one particularly, like a single review. But I wanted you to see a real life difference between these two. To summarize everything, if you are uh, not that much bothered by testing batteries, if you want just capable charger, if you really don't care that this charger doesn't have uh, internal resistance measurement, like on Litokawa 500, and keep in mind, as I said in review for this device, this is not 100% accurate, it is just uh, for you to have a idea in what range of internal resistance is. It is not uh, uh, accurate that much, but it can help. But if you don't care about these two issues, so the first one is how recorded capacity works in test mode. You cannot see it until the battery tester finish complete cycle. So that is discharging and charging. You are unable to see the actual discharge capacity of the battery. And that is the biggest downside of this charger, at least for me. The thing which I noticed with this charger comparing to other Little Kala batteries is that uh, discharge capacity is a bit higher than on others. If I test, let's, let's say this battery in any other Little Kala charger, it will probably have around 100 less milliampere hours capacity. And that is like, uh, uh, same for all slots if I compare it to other uh, Little Color chargers. Uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, just with my unit, uh, if anyone else noticed this uh, or if you have to share information regarding this, please leave it down in the comments for other people to know. Other things are minor. It is not heating uh, like Little Color 500. It is not 
uh, transferring the heat to the batteries, which is amazing and really important. It will prolong the battery life and it gets my recommendation.